Some big news for racing fans today. For the first time in a decade, the IndyCar Series is coming back to the Rose City. Trevor Alt was on hand for the announcement. He joins us live from City Hall with details. Trevor. Hey, good afternoon, Ken and Jenny. Yeah, we knew this morning that there was going to be some sort of secret major sports announcement coming from city officials. And when I arrived at 1030, we had suspicions. But this giant semi kind of gave away what we're dealing with. And now I can officially tell you that Labor Day weekend of next year, Portland International Raceway will be hosting the Grand Prix of Portland. It's the newest race in the Verizon IndyCar Championship Series. Mayor Wheeler and Commissioner Fritz made the announcement an hour ago with Portland Parks and Rec in IndyCar representatives. This is going to be the first time the series will be coming through Portland since 2000. 2007. It will be the 16th of 17 races, making it a pretty important one at the end of the year. And we know this agreement is for three races over the next three years, so through 2020. Though there is options to renew it after that. And Mayor Wheeler said that he hopes to continue this race indefinitely. We know that an event of this magnitude brings in a minimum of 12 to $15 million of revenue for the city and scores of jobs as well. And we just kept coming back to PIR. So a great city and a great track with great tradition in IndyCar racing. Sure, I'm ripping over. over. Well, tickets for the race aren't up for sale yet, but I am told that they want to make them accessible for just about everybody with prices starting at general admission tickets for about $20. And I do also know that while Portland International Raceway does fall under Portland Parks and Recreation, it's self-supporting, and that means that no tax dollars are going towards this event. Any city functions or services that are used have to be paid for by the event promoter. In this case, that would be the Verizon IndyCar Series. So none of your tax dollars are going to be funding it, although the city is certainly hoping that a lot of people are going to be checking this out over the next three years. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.